What's up guys? My name's Kronk. I'm coming to you from the Casino One Room. Today I'm going to tell you about what I consider the best technique for building a nice healthy bankroll. Before we start, if you like PokerStars VR and PokerStars VR content, definitely check out my channel. I got tons of PokerStars VR videos that I'm sure you'll love. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So first things first guys, I gotta hit you with a hard fact. As much fun as it is to play roulette, slots, and blackjack, the only consistent, reliable way to build a bankroll and make money in PokerStars VR is to play poker. So if you haven't learned to play poker yet, now's the time to do it. There's in-game tutorials that'll teach you, there's plenty of videos on YouTube that'll walk you through it, and it's not as hard as it looks. If I can do it, so can you. With that out of the way, guys, let's talk about the technique. For a lot of people, their PokerStars VR experience is they log in, they spin the free wheel, they get some chips, they go to a low stakes table, boost it in about 15 minutes, and then they don't log on for another seven and a half hours. If that sounds familiar, you're gonna wanna listen up because this technique is for you. The technique I'm gonna talk about today, I like to call the Salty Alt System. The basis of this system is having your main account, which you already have created, you're going to go ahead and log in every eight hours on your main account, spin the wheel, and log off. That's it. On your alt account, you can do whatever you want. You can spin the wheel, you can jump right into the tables, you can play blackjack, roulette, slots. You can be as liberal as you want with your bankroll on your alt account, and that's what its main purpose is. That's why I call it the salty alt. You can get all your bad behavior, all your bad habits out on this account while saving money on this account. And since PokerStars VR is free to play, you can create this alt account for no additional cost. All you need for an alt account is either a different Steam username if you're playing on Steam PC, or a separate Oculus account. Now that I've explained the basic idea, it should be pretty obvious what your alt account is going to be used for. Your main account, like I said, you're going to want to be logging on every 8 hours or as often as you can to spin the free wheel. What you're going to want to do is wait till you get at least 100,000 chips, which you can get in a single spin if you're real lucky, and usually get within 10 spins, up to 15 spins if you're super unlucky. But that free wheel is definitely not something you want to overlook. If you do the math and you look at the prizes, you spun 90 times in one month, you could be banking away some serious money. So don't sleep on that free wheel, because it's there for a reason. Once you got at least 100,000, if not more, on your main account, you're going to want to start hitting the high stakes tables, which are 100,000 buy. From there, you're just going to want to play smart poker. You're going to want to play conservatively. You're going to want to avoid tilt betting. Just play as smart as you can, and you'll be building up money in no time. Anytime you feel like you're getting tilted or salty, at that point, you're just going to want to log off your main account and hop on your salty alt account. This way you can bet recklessly at the poker tables, you can do some tilt spins on roulette, you can throw it all away on slots. However you want to play on your salty alt account, you have that freedom to do so. If you want to play it really safe, you can wait till you get about 300 or 400,000 on your main account before hitting the high stakes table. This way if you go all in and you lose a hand, you can still keep playing. I want to mention a few things about the strategy. If you're currently banned, whether it's temporary or permanent, you cannot use an alternative account. Ban evading using an alternative account will get both of your accounts banned as against the terms of service, so don't do it. Another thing worth mentioning if you don't know already is you can't transfer chips between your account. If you try to move chips from one account to another using chip dumping, you're going to get permanently banned. One final thing I want to mention is you cannot play on these accounts simultaneously. So although you can have two accounts for one person, you can't be playing on them at the same exact time. So let's do a quick recap, guys. You have your two accounts. You have your main account and you have your salty alt account. Your main account, you're just going on every eight hours or as often as you can, spinning the wheel and not playing until you save up enough in your bankroll. On your salty alt account, you do whatever you want. If you want to go in, spin the wheel, lose all your money in 5-10 minutes, be my guest. That's what that account is for. If you feel like playing blackjack, roulette, slots, do it on your salty account. I highly recommend against playing slot, roulette, or blackjack on your main account if you're trying to get serious about building your bank. Like I said guys, slots, roulette, blackjack are all fun to play, but ultimately are going to be a losing battle, so you're going to need to learn to play poker, and once you do, the rewards will come in right away. If you have any questions or thoughts about this technique, 
let me know down in the comments section. If you found this video helpful, consider subscribing to my channel. And until next time, guys, I'll see you at the tables.